All right, guys, welcome to the big lockdown quiz. First of all, how is your lockdown going? All right, really enjoying it. Fantastic. Good. I'm loving it. Not too bad. Good. You ready to Yes, seen a fan. Have, have you been enjoying it then? Oh, I've been busy. I've been keeping busy, so I've been absolutely fine. Thank you for asking. Your wallpaper in bedroom. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Steven is wallpaper. I like it. Good day, fun. Right, we've got five rounds. <laughs> and we're starting off with science and nature. Oh, so, my God. Pens at the oh, red. Right at Wall Street. George, by the way, I've just seen you in that picture. You look a million dollars, by the way. Dude, on her. In Dan's wallpaper. I'm telling you, George is the best one. Someone's head. someone's teeth is looking worse for wear on it. I know that. <laughs> I don't know who that is. You dodgy barnets on there. Who that is? But I'm ready. I'm ready, Dan. Number one. Sorry. On, then. Science and nature, round one. Question one: What bird can fly? Sorry, what bird can swim, but cannot fly? Easy. What do you mean, easy? You're such a freak, man. Easy. What bird can swim but cannot fly? Sounds like one of Nuji's riddles, that. Jesus. <laughs> this has a bad one, I don't have a clue. It's not a fucking bird. You know what? I don't know. Can we come back to that at the end? Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll Absolutely. Just write down a little note of the question if you're not sure and I'll give you all a bit of time at the end to... When you say fly, like if they try and flap their wings but don't get off the air, does that count? Off the ground? See, off the they're, just like, they're just on the same lines as me. I think we've got the same answer. Yeah, same penguin. Yeah. Wow. That's it. Two. How, uh, many, how many teeth does an adult usually have? This is a nearest to question. Well, let's not go off Nuge's teeth. We're going off people in Newcastle. I think he's about four, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Well, that can't be a head. You can't come at Newcastle like that, can you? <laughs> okay, question number three. What is the UK's most popular dog breed, according to research? Conducted by dogfriendlycottages.co.uk. Friendliest dog. Just, most just repeat that again, Dan. I was busy what counting. Is, what is the UK's most popular dog breed? You just got a staffy. Question four. To change that answer. How many kilometers is Earth from the Sun? This is another ridiculous quiz. Ridiculous. These questions again with a distance. This is another nearest two. Can you repeat your question, sorry, Dan? Yeah. How many kilometers is Earth from the Sun? Nearest two. I can't no, even give like I, I can't even give a sensible answer because I okay, don't, I'll give you a don't get numbers. It's in the millions. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Helps me with nothing. Oh dear. Right, final question yeah, for the round. Which type of mammal was the first to be launched into space? Mammal. Mammal. Animal. Oh, animal. Still a mammal farms. I don't know. Camel, was mammal. Quiz last night. Um, there's a bonus point for this one if you get the correct decade in which it was launched. So just guess a decade. 20s. Oh, do you know what a decade is? I'm not, I'm not even going to bother with that. I'll just try, I'm trying to get the answer. But then he wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do two dog related questions. Yeah, so that's what I'm asking. Um, yeah, I'm 
decade. Don't know what a decade is, so I'll leave that. <laughs> Number. Yeah, right Dan. Really? Still thinking about. I'm still thinking Bam. about the bird that can't fly. Bam. That's just what you said. The nineties so is a decade. The eighties is a decade. Sweet. You really don't need any fun. questions repeating from that round. Bird can't fly. But can swim. But can swim with a snorkel. Polar bird. <laughs> right, that's that round done. Wow. I don't want that, that number one has really hurt me because when you tell yeah. me I'm going to want to... We've honestly five questions were really hard and I don't think I've got any. I fancy myself Ooh. as a hero. This should get easier. <laughs> Round two is television. Are we doing marking at the end? Yeah. Cool. Round two is television. So question one. Which city was Grange Hill set in? Ah, <laughs> Grange Hill. Grange Hill. I was thinking back and forth then. Everyone does. Oh, that's what, huh? oh. Which city? Which city? Man city. Which city? Question two. <laughs> no. What? what? No, just go leave him behind. Go on. Between 2001 and 2004, ITV won the rights to host top tier football highlights, taking over from Match of the Day. What was their program called? And there's a bonus point if you can remember and name the theme song. Oh, sure. What about a presenter? <laughs> Half a point for presenter? Yeah, if you can get the presenter, you can get half a point. Why are you just you... adding points on? So your 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 te- you, your question is, what was Match of the Day called before Match of the Day? No, because oh, yeah. Match of the Day has always hosted the highlights on Saturday night from for three years, in 2001 to 2004, where ITV took it. What was their programme called? Thank you. Wow. Oh, Christ's sake. I don't know if you can see that. I can. I don't have a clue. Dan, there you go. No clue. Next question. What year did Blue Peter first come on air? This is another nearest wins. I I used to love that as a kid. Think about that one. I can't even guess some of these because I, I, I can't embarrass myself that much. <laughs> You've already done that. You've got to give it a guess. It's the nearest two. I'll guess you. Right. Question four. Under its current non-celebrity guise, how many series of Love Island has there been? <laughs> So just to re- confirm on that one, uh, there was two series of Love Island a long time ago where it was celebrities involved. Uh, yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah. It's not it's including it that. Best, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. So it's not including that. Not including them. So it's in its current incarnation. It's quite a tough one, that still. I'm trying to name the casts in my head, name one person from each one. Can you stop with them? Right, final question. You've got to name three gladiators. Oh. <laughs> Is it a point for each? No. Just three gladiators for one point. Oh, really? Oh, oh, I've got this. I've I got this. Name, I could name ten. <laughs> Wait, one was a lifeguard at my swimming pool. Lies. Massive lies. Fact. Claim to fame. Um, was it Lion? No, it was, it was the, the, the massive fella the, uh, yeah. with curly hair. John Anderson. 
Right. Anyone need any questions repeating for television? No, thank you. Okay. I don't know how. I, I've got six answers on my um, paper, but we'll leave it as that. How does that work, six? Well, there was six if you got the theme song. Write the fan to sing the theme tune. Oh, is there a bonus point on that second question? Oh, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, the theme tune. theme tune to that ITV highlights program. I can't think of a third gladiator. Ah, that's poured from you. I used to watch it every week. I did. So right. Knox. Round three. Night. Round three is teammates. So Stephen Edge, teammates. <laughs> Question one. Who's got who's got rave teeth? Which yeah. which teammate was born in Enfield on the sixteenth of December, year two thousand? Oh, I hate you. Two thousand. Mm-hmm. I can't even work that out to be how old the person is. Yes. I think I've got it. Yes. Seven. <coughs> Question two. Guess, sir. Uh, Seven up there. Which teammate started his career at Crystal Palace? Oh my god, why do I feel like I've seen Which, just say it again please. Which teammate started his career at Crystal Palace? Oh my god, that's so annoying. Another guess, that's really annoying. Does anyone know that? No. I know this one, yeah. Yeah, I do, I think. No, I don't have to could guess. Question three. This is probably the hardest. Which teammate's first shirt was a Liverpool one with Michael Owen on the back, named Stephen Fletcher as one of the top three players he has played with and had Dean Parrott as his first Borough overnight teammate? I'll do that one more time. So his first shirt was a Liverpool one with Michael Owen on the back. He named Stephen Fletcher as one of the top three players that he's played with. And he had Dean Parrott as his first Borough overnight teammate. Those questions and answers were from the programme Q&A. I, I, I think I think that could be an easy one, but it might be I could be throwing off massively. Oh, what are you saying there? Right. Question four: Which teammate has scored thirty-one goals in one hundred and sixty-seven appearances for the club? Say that again. Thirty-one goals in one hundred and sixty-seven appearances. Including as substitute for the club. I'll have to, you'll have to come back for that. I, mi I missed it. <laughs> Finally, which teammate is listed as six foot four and was born in Sheffield? Fuck <laughs> off. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly it. that's the first thing I thought I feel sick I feel Sorry. sick <laughs> Dan, Dan do, you mind, do you mind repeating number three yeah so which teammate's first shirt was a Liverpool one with Michael Owen on the back named Stephen Fletcher as one of the top three players that he had played with and had Dean Parrott as his first overnight teammate at the club. And could you go say number four again for me, please? Yep, so which teammate scored 31 goals in 167 appearances for Stephen? That number three's got me. Yeah. Really got me. 
Yeah, I've I've took I've took a really weird punt, but I'm go, I'm going off ro- um, the roomy shout. No, no, that's what I'm trying to work out for. It's not him. Man. I think you're wrong with that thought. Yeah. I don't care. Okay, we ready? <laughs> you're ready. Sure. Uh, yeah. All right. Next, next one's a picture round, so I'm going to share my screen. Um, Woo! The and it's fantastic! It's fantastic. There's ten pictures that you're going to see. So if you want, write down one to ten now. One, two. Just three. to help you, because you're not going to get too long with each one. Picture round. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Scott. It's a lovely flower, that's what. Is it in a window? It's fake. Mm. Can't it's decorative. Mm. Can you all see that? Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Round four. Uh, Man just said. Uh, yeah. I'm scared. What's happening? Right. You're going to get four seconds, approximately. What? To name each person that you're about to see. So get scribbling. In we name this guy? No. Yeah, no. That's, that's what I was thinking. Four, three, Deal. two, one. Picture one. Picture two. Oh. I'm just writing Satan names here. That's fine. If you yeah. know who it is, then picture three. Oh! Picture four. Ah, oh, Christ. No, it's not him. Picture five. Oh, this is quick. Oh, I love quick. it. I, I win this. Fact. I don't think a few seconds on this one. Go. Oh, Easy. What is that? <laughs> Honey. <laughs> He's in Turkey at the minute. I've got nothing for that. Next. I think I'm flying on this. I'm writing things down, but I've not got any right, I don't think. Next. Ellen. See, that could be 10 different people. Ah, uh, I know exactly who that is. Yeah, no, you don't. Are we number nine yet? Hunty again. Hunty. I know Rawr. that is. Rawr. I just, yep. Yeah. And the last one. <laughs> Sky Cuthbert. <laughs> <laughs> that, he looks like a proper cone head in. Oh, have you seen that film? Yeah, I, mean, I have. I've actually seen that film. <laughs> I'll see the comments. Oh, Christ. What about when he's fighting in the, uh, in the big thing against that monster, man, when he's singing? Ah, oh, Christ. Christ almighty. All I right, don't know that last one. You all get four questions, four, ten answers there, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, ones that, the one I struggled on the most was four. Did all you always get that? Yeah. 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 Number six, I was gone, didn't have a clue. Really? Hmm. No, that was one of the easy what ones. What did you put? I'll write that down. Can't answer. Keegan! Still don't know Stephen Fletcher and Dean Perrett's, mate. Nah, that's really annoying me. <clears throat> Can't remember Steve who plays for us. What? Ready, what? Dan. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. These are, yeah, both these, are con- these are conferring. The conferring, come on. Right. Shut up. Next round. Final round. Football. 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 So. Question one. How many nations have won the World Cup? Don't care. Scotland won it. (laughs) I have no idea. Celtic. Okay. Do you, like, 
you like my cups? Mm. Nice, it's really nice actually. Question two. In the Premier League's first season, only one team was located south of London. Who was that? So not including London teams, one team was based south of London in the Premier League's first season, which was 92-93. Who's singing? Bill. She's always saying, does what she's saying. I hate that question, Dan. So it's just like a riddle to me. Hmm. Just name a club south of London that's been in the Premier League. Talk you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, question three. Who is Stevenage Football Club's most played team in the club's history? Hint, they're in League Two this season. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sorry, Bus. <laughs> But, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> That's probably both wrong. Okay. Question four. How many I'm going to switch four one up. Sorry. Go on. How many professional hat tricks has Lionel Messi scored? Nearest win. Oh, a lot. Nearest win. <laughs> Is this number four, I? Four, yeah. Aye. Aye. Right, question five is a tricky. Final one for the quiz. There's a chance to double your points on this question. So, can you name the top five English football all time table? So, you get one point for each team and you double your points if you get them all in the correct order. So from the start of English football history, Ooh. if you were to add all the points up, the five teams that would be in that top five. As I said, you double your points if you can get them all in the right order. So that possibly 10 points if you get that. Do you know what? I saw that a little while back, but I don't know if it was a full history. So if you get one, you get one point, two, you get two, etc. So it has to be points in the top division? No, it's, well, no, it's English football, well, it's English football all time table, so it includes every club in football in England. To put this in dummy terms for me, who has won won the most games, basically? Yeah, it's right. Who's won the most points, yeah. Because right, you might have got quite a few draws found. Yeah. <laughs> I never asked. Sorry, but that's my way if you can hear it all. She's having a meltdown. She's not allowed to wear a certain pair of shorts, so she's kicking off. I wonder where she gets that question? from. Does anybody need. Go back through any questions. Team mates, question three. Do you want me to read it again? Yeah. Okay. Which teammate's first shirt was a Liverpool one with Michael Owen on the back? Named Stephen Fletcher as one of the top three players that he's I've played. got it. Have you? Yeah. And That's had rubbish. And had Dean Parrott as his first Stevenage overnight teammate. Later. Woo, piece of candy, piece of candy. I'm sweating. Is anyone else sweating? That's hot. That's <sighs> Lorna. I, I... <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> 
Right, all done? Yeah. What about... What was uh, question two on round two? Between 2001 and 2004, ITV... Oh, that's right. Yeah, can you hear any more? Put the light, the light on. on. I'm going to do it. Bill, do you know everyone can hear you? Crumpy pants. <laughs> what is that? Right, the way we're going to do the answers is I'm going to go through obviously all the questions again. You note down how many points, you know, six and crosses, how many points you've got. At the end, yeah. if you text me your score, I will do a reveal. Over here. So exciting. And if you cheat, what happens? We're all oh, I trust. Uh, wait there, I'm just, uh, I, can't, I can't even write down for number one of the, fir the first question. I can't even write it down. But go on. Right, go on, just tell us. Right, come on then. No, so, I, I can't. Round so, one. Sorry, you're going to tell us the answers just now? Yeah, I'll give you a chance to shout them out if you want. But I'll go through them now. So, okay. round one. Question one, what bird can swim but cannot fly? What? Anyone get, anyone want to shout out their answers or do you want me to just read it? Uh, Raven. It. <laughs> okay, Goose. fine. The answer is penguin. <laughs> <laughs> that is you know. Hey, what a show that is. Question two. Well, on this one, I need to go one, on, one at a time, what your score is, because it's the nearest two. So, Scott? 34. Nuge? 26. Jozza? 38. Barnes? 2-4. Scott wins, it's the answer's 32. Oh! Yes! I'm smart. Okay, UK's most popular dog. Let's have shout outs. Labrador. 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 Yes! One point! <laughs> right. Again, I'm going to go one at a time on how many kilometres is there from the sun. Scott? 10 million. Terrible. Nuge? 74 million. <laughs> Rosa? 3.4 million. Farms? I reckon Jos is going to win this. I've put 60 million. The correct answer is 149.6, so that means that Nuge was closest. Good Nuge. Well done, mate. Oh, well, that's crazy, isn't it? Oh, that's Which really fun. Which type of mammal was first in last week on our programme? <laughs> <laughs> Just Friday. <laughs> Which type of mammal was first to be launched into space? Anyone want to shout out? I put Monkey. Monkey. Cat. Cat. No, cat. Monkey. Monkey. Cat. Monkey is correct. Yes, yeah, no. monkeys. I wanted to put that, but I thought it was like a trick question. Anyone get the check? Okay. Dog? 60s. 70s, I put. I thought 60s or 70s. I went 60s. Nuge? 70s, I put. Bums? I forgot to write it down. 40s is the answer, so no one gets that one. Ooh! 40s? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Round two. Which city was Grange Hill set in? Manchester. I put Birmingham, not a clue. London. I put Bristol. London's the right answer. London's a tapping, in it? Just right. It <laughs> <is>. <laughs> All right. Did anyone get the ITV programme? Goals galore. I, I put the ITV show. show. I put the football show. It was the Premiership. Yeah. Yes. And the bonus point answer was U2 Beautiful Day. Oh, I remember the song now. That is nailed on. Okay, one at a time. What year did Blue Peter first come on air, Scott? 79. Nuge? 84. Oh, come on, come on. Come 69. On, come on, Paul. Farms? 81. Jaws has got the right answer. Yeah, because the right answer was 58. Oh, makes me feel sick. One nil. <laughs> yes. Okay, how many series of Love Island has there been? Six. Wow, I said six too. Six, six is correct. Yeah. Hey. 
Yes. Uh, Scott, can you name three gladiators? No, I, I had Wolf and Hunter and then hit a blank, so I just went for Saris. Hunter, I forgot about Hunter. Nuge. Went for Saris. Oh, I didn't get any. I wasn't names on here, but... I put Wolf, Cobra and Jet. Huh? Farms. That was good. I put Wolf, Jet and Storm. Okay. You forget the point. Storm! Lightning. Hunter. One point for that. Okay, teammates. Which teammate was born in Enfield on the 16th of December, year 2000? I put Arthur. Arthur. I, I put Arthur as well. You're not 20, you're, though. You're right. Arthur. 19, you're 20. 21. Yes! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and Leggy. <laughs> Are you sure Arthur's 20? Right, play. Right, making play. 19, surely. Yeah. Right, be 20 in December. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, which team? I think I, I think I know this next one. Okay, so what's the answer? Listy. Yeah, I said Listy. I put Sawsy. Nude. I put Sawsy to start. I put Listy. The answer is Tom Saws. Let me double check if anyone. Ah! I'm pretty sure he did it. Listy started at Palace. Listy started oh, yeah. at Palace. I crossed Nick it out. Oh, uh, Dan, if you get this wrong, it's void. Everything void. about you is void. Listy yeah, 100% started, his, started yeah. at Palace. No, no, he started his youth career at Palace, so you, everyone gets the point that if you got Listy yes. as well. Uh, Apple Crumble. Apple <laughs> <laughs> Crumble is. <laughs> I think number three I've got wrong because of... Let's go one at a time on number three. Scott? Paul Taylor. Nuge? I'd put Paul Taylor as well, yeah. Jose. Mm. I put Simeon Jackson. Farms. I put Sawsy, but it's obviously not. The answer is Jake Cassidy. Played at Wolves, didn't he? Ah, with... um, he's dead. I'm trying to think of someone that played with Fletcher. I know he ruined with him as well. What an idiot. Gosh, I was um, way off. <laughs> question four. What do you all get? Kenners. Kenners. Oh. <laughs> I went nuts. Um, Sorry, you Revs? No, it's uh, Kenners. Mm. Forget the Kenners. <laughs> Kenners been here for like 20 years. <laughs> um, finally, which teammate is listed six foot four and was born in Sheffield? I feel sick. I feel sick. <laughs> oh, Digby, yeah. <laughs> Right. Uh, Pitch around, fantastic. I loved it. I think I've nailed this one. I think I've done okay. I think you've got it. Well, I think. One second. Uh, I got one out of five for the second round. That's shocking. I don't do add-ups yet. Oh. No, I'm just doing it through the... Oh, sugar, yeah, sorry. Okay. Who is it? Morgan Freeman. 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 Morgan Freeman. I got that well wrong. <laughs> I thought you were good at this. Yeah, I got that well wrong. Ramsey. Who is it? Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay. He looks young. Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Oh, Courtney that Kardashian. Needs to stay Kim oh, Kardashian. Kayla Kunis. Has to be Kim. Kim oh, Kardashian. Ah. If you've put, you can't put Kardashian, Dan. No way. No, I you put can't. Kardashian Kim. You can no, he didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Liar. Cheap. Dodgers cheap. Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Yes, man. Eat. Snooze. Barlow. Barlow, I'm ticking it already. Oh, yes. Jaws, I, I can't believe you didn't get this. N number six. I can't remember looking at it. Pet. Pet. Nah. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, of course I did. I think Tom I'm Cruise. way off on this one. Um, oh my god. I put I Ken from Love Island. <laughs> Kim sitting here from Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way Oprah. off on the next one. Beyonce. But it could have been Amber from Love Island. Oprah. <laughs> yeah. No. I put Leona Lewis. <laughs> I nailed this round. Keep bleeding, I keep. And Tiger the next Woods. one. Tiger Woods. Rawr. 
He's scrambling, isn't he? The Rock. Doctor Evil. Evil. Back. The I thought Greg Wallace yeah. from MasterChef. The Rock. <laughs> hey Scott, you're good at that. Yeah, done really well. Really pleased with that. Terrible. Right. But I think round five. I'm rubbish. Final round. How many nations have won the World Cup? Scott. Eight. Noosh. Nine. Jozza. Eight. Farms. <laughs> Twenty-three. <laughs> the correct I answer. Know. Eight. Who's got the one team that was located south of London in the Premier That's League fun. first season? Do you want to ask me? Southampton. 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 That's correct. Yeah, got that. Who is FC's most played team in the club's history? Cambridge. I put Morecambe. I don't know. Why. I put Morecambe. 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 I put Morecambe. Morecambe's yes. correct. They've, they've been in League Two for the longest ever. Not just that, but Steven and Monkton have also spent a lot of time together in non-league as well, which is more where that comes from. Great facts, Dan. And nearest win, so we'll go one at a time again on how many hat-tricks Lionel Messi scored. Scott? 27. Nuge? 31. Mm. Jose? 44. Farms? 20. 54 is the right answer, so Jose gets that. Oh my God, he's some player, isn't he? <laughs> he's, a, he's a good player, isn't he? 54. Oh, man. And finally, let's do one at a time on this one as well. Naming the top five English football all-time table. Just do, do it in the order you've got, Scott. So, I went Man United. Okay. Blackburn Rovers. Arsenal. Newcastle and Villa. Okay, you get three. Yay! You get three points. Get? Nuge. United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Villa, Newcastle. You get three as well. Jose? I went United, Liverpool, Wolves, Preston, Blackburn. You get two. <laughs> Farms? Arsenal, Arsenal, United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Newcastle. You get three as well. Ah, I remember well, the, the correct answers in order is Liverpool, Arsenal, Everton, Man United, and Villa. Oh, wow. And Newcastle. Newcastle not far down, to be fair. I know, because they're the best seven. team. So, best team take a photo and send it to you, yeah? Right, so, yeah, look out your scores and send them to me, and I'll give you a big review. I need, I need to do ads. One. One, two, three. No, do it. Can you count your head, please? 11, 15, 19, 21. So how how do we send you it now, Dan? Yeah, send me a private WhatsApp of you. Scott. Send. Dan. Dan. <laughs> Dan. 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 You make me so proud. Oh, my legs are killing me. I've still, I've still got to go on a bike ride here. Who's last farm, definite? I had a bit of a stink, you know. Stink job. Stinky winky? Absolute stink job. Why have you got headphones in, Jos? I don't know. <laughs> I felt the cold. I don't know what... I, I seen Jaws of the Mom when I clicked on it, panicked and thought I'd best get mine. <laughs> Yours are. Didn't I didn't want to get out my AirPods. Christ. Right, what arms are we waiting on? Come on. I've sent you it. No. I definitely have. No, oh, yeah, really you can't even type numbers. You don't know. Uh, ah. Do you want to go from bottom to top? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, always. Okay, so in joint. Third place. <laughs> um, on 15 points is Farms and Nuge. <laughs> what me? <laughs> with a private school and everything in you with me. <laughs> and it's super close at the top. 
the winner on 20 points is Scott Cuthbert. Joel Byron finishing with 19. Oh. Yay! Anybody, anybody, anybody but him. Well done, Scott. Same, same time well next week. Scott. Well done, Scott. Same yeah, we'll do this week. again. Thanks, same, time. Week, same time next week. Yeah, same time next week. Yeah. When the sun's up. Yeah. Some arrows to throw. Go on, throw them now. Don't fuck, see what you get. Two seconds, then. After yeah, 180, you win the quiz. Right, right there. If you get higher than 100, do you win it? Stop spinning round. Sorry, yeah, I missed. <sighs> we'll forget that ever happened. <laughs> right. No, I, haven't thrown, I couldn't throw him because of my phone. Right, I'm stopping now. Thanks for playing, guys. Cheers, Dan. Bye. 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 Later. Bye-bye.